Frank, let's talk about the future of human beings in the universe. Not a hundred years or a thousand years, but really the far future. Maybe a billion years, assuming we survive. How, how do you, how could you even begin to think of what humanity can do or become? I don't think any of us can make a really good prediction of what we will become. Uh, just look at our own history, how much we have changed in just a hundred years, how life on Earth today is so different from 150 years ago. We think nothing of getting on an airplane and flying to Europe. That used to be the voyage of a lifetime and for very few people. And uh, we would never have predicted <clears throat> the way we live now. So trying to predict what we will be like millions, billions of years from now is hard to do. I think we can maybe say some generalizations that might be close. Uh, one is that we will carefully alter all of the surface of our planet so as to produce the maximum amount of living room for human beings. Now this means, I think, actually colonizing the oceans, floating cities on the oceans. And I can envision the Earth being a mix of agricultural areas and residential areas that go from pole to pole and from horizon to horizon. Uh, that's a guess. Now, what will happen, I think, for sure, I think it's one of the few things we can predict, is that uh, a few billion years from now, when the sun starts to become a giant star, we're going to have to do something because, not quickly, not overnight, but in the course of a very long time, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, the sun will engulf the earth. We got to go somewhere else. By then we will have the space technology to take materials from the asteroid belt and construct habitats in space. And I suspect we will become what has already been suggested, the so-called Dyson sphere, named for the famous physicist Freeman Dyson, who suggested that some, some uh, civilizations envelop their star with co space colonies. Uh, and I think that will happen. It's our way of dealing with the, the growing sun problem. You build space colonies and just move outwards from the sun to where the temperatures are still pleasant. And uh, then when the sun finally goes dim, becomes a white dwarf, every, all the colonies move back in. There'll be no planets, to, no Earth to colonize, but all your space colonies can move back in. And in fact, I think we go no farther than that. We do not colonize other stars because the cost and energy and the hazards involved are so great that you do best just building all your colonies in your own solar system. But eventually, even a white dwarf will, will go dark. Oh, the white dwarf <clears throat> lasts a long, yeah. long, long time. And <clears throat> when it goes dark, so will all the other stars in the universe. And uh, it will not be a pretty picture. <laughs> but, but that's many, many tens of billions of years from now. Uh, so you, you don't see, however far you look out in humanity's future, the capacity to colonize other star systems? I don't see it. I see it as a technology you could create, but it would be a fabulously wasteful technology because it would consume so much energy. It would be very unpleasant for the travelers because you can't travel more than a tenth the speed of light without suffering a nuclear explosion that's going to kill you. Uh, and my main reason for not thinking that's ever going to happen is that if you just take all of the light from the sun and imagine that it's all captured by space colonies, it turns out that there is enough energy there uh, to support a very large number of people. Well, what is that number? Well, if we take Americans, we're the most profligate energy users in on Earth, and just say, well, how many is the typical energy consumption of a human being? It's about 20 kilowatts. If uh, we take all of the light of the sun and say that if we're going to provide all that light to keeping 
humans alive in space colonies, how many humans can you support? The answer is, incredible number, it is 10 to the 22nd power people. Oh. Uh, right now we have roughly 10 to the 10th, pe right. 10 billion people on right. Earth, 10 to the 10. 10 to the 22nd is 10 to the 12th times more people, not 10 right. to the 12th more people, right. 10 to the 12th times more people. Right. That seems like enough. Yeah. So a that, trillion. It's a trillion it's times. Earths. A trillion Earths. No, number it's, it's of people. A tri no, it's a trillion. Trillion times as many, so it's a trillion times ten billion. Yeah. So, so if you have, if, if if an Earth has ten billion approximately, ten to the ten. Yeah. Oh yes. This is a a, tr a trillion like a trillion, trillion Earth. kinds of Earth. Tr trillion Earths. That's incredible. Yeah, now that you have right. to capture a hundred percent of the of the of, uh, of, of the sun. Yeah. But uh, th that's that, not that that's doable. Yeah. That, so that seems like enough people. I mean, <laughs>